Hey guys, this is David Kirk from TechRecipes.com. Today I wanted to show you the easiest way to get your FLAC files converted into MP3s or some other format so you can put it in iTunes or on your iPod. This is really made very simple by uh, a couple of pieces of software. The one I like the best is the X lossless, the X lossless decoder. It's lossless because FLAC files are lossless. Uh, and this decoder will actually allow you to convert it to other lossless formats. So non-compressed formats that allows you to keep the majority of the information. Uh, if you're fine with uh, a compressed format like MP3 uh, for your iPod, as most of us, most people are, uh, why not have a bit, little bit smaller files, a little bit of compression, allows you to put a lot more music on your device. But the X lossless decoder uh, would allow you to keep the complete lossless format uh, of the FLAC files and convert it to another lossless uh, format as well. However, right now we're just using it because it's a very easy tool to convert uh, to other file formats. If you already have LAME installed on your system, um, then you're completely set. If you don't, then do a Google search for uh, LAME binaries and install that as well. Um, here's the website that I currently use uh, to get my lame installs, um, and my lame bi binaries. It comes in a package, you click, installs very easily. Uh, anybody can do it. So once you have the software packages installed, I'm going to run it here. You can see there's really no window that comes up. The only reason you know it's running is it's down here in your dock and it's up here in your toolbar. I'm going to make us a little room here. Uh, I've downloaded the free Nine Inch Nails FLAC files. Uh, Nine Inch Nails recently released um, this whole album uh, in a variety of formats. Um, I'm using this because it's a known free FLAC files out there. Many people would be getting FLAC files from many different places. So first let's go into XLD and set our preferences. And you have several output formats. Uh, I'm currently using the lame MP3, but you can see that um, XLD just has a ton of different formats that you can use. I like MP3 just because I can use um, with any device. Um, it works on my Apple devices such as my Apple TV and my iPod, uh, my iPhone, but still if I ever want to get away from um, the Apple format, I can. However, you can see uh, Apple lossless, lossless um, and other Apple formats are available. So since I have the lame MP3 installed, I'm going to use it. Um, I keep all these the defaults. Uh, of course, if your FLAC files are tagged, as most FLAC files come, uh, you want to convert the, the tags as well. This is one of the advantages of using XLD. Uh, this lossless converter is that it will keep all the tags and you don't have to re-tag them once you get into iTunes. Um, this even comes with a nice feature to put it straight into a playlist or a library if, if you wish. So those preferences look fine to me. I also see that you, um, with your lame format or any of the formats you can pick, you can decide which quality uh, of MP3 files you want. Um, I've, you're typically going to default um, to approximately 135 KB Per second, um, I've bumped this quality up just a little bit. But whatever lame settings you pick, um, as you typically would, this will handle them all. So now that I've got my preferences set, I'm going to select all the files and I'm going to drop them straight into the program. You can see that they're starting uh, to convert now. So I think this is obviously the easiest way to get 
your FLAC files into a usable format, either convert them out of a FLAC into something um, that your device can use. If you're a high fidelity person, XLD allows you to keep the software um, in a lossless format, or if you're like the rest of us and you just want to throw it on your iPod with some minor loss of quality, you uh, can just convert it to an MP3 or some Apple format that allows uh, compression. Um, it didn't get any easier in this. Enjoy it, guys. Later.